Right, time for time for another quick video. Uh, this time about the Shelley One L. Uh, first, the apologies. I've got a bit of a cold, so I you can probably hear that in my voice. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be trying to install this Shelley One L into the light switch here in the garage. Uh, the light switch is in my garage. We don't have a neutral behind the light switch. Instead, the neutral goes directly to the, the two lights up here. There's one there, and then there's another one there. Um, so I need to use the one L rather than the one, as I don't have a neutral available for the actual Shelly. Uh, also, to make it slightly more complicated, um, my light switch, there you go, there's one light switch down... Oh, that's so confusing. Uh, down here. Uh, but there's also one over here. So it's a two-way light switch, uh, which means I need to be a little bit careful about how I wire this up, but I'll show you that as I do it. Uh, and hopefully this will help anybody who, who is trying to do a similar setup within their house. Um, as always, I am not an electrician, so please do not take these as instructions. I'm just simply showing you how I'm doing it. If you're not comfortable with electrics, please make sure that you uh, you call somebody in to do it for you if you need something like this done. Um, all right, let me install this. I'll show you how it's all set up and then hopefully show you how it works at the end of it. Okay, so it's all wired up. Uh, let me show you what I've done. So, that was the best way to do it. So on the back, so firstly, this is, this is uh, there are two switches on this switch. The one switch on the left is for the lights inside the garage. The switch on the right is for the lights outside the garage. So I'm wiring up the, the Shelly 1L with the switch on the, on the left here. So the L1 and L2 terminals from the switch on the left, uh, those are wired in using these the blue and, and brown cables here. I've put some ferrules on as well just to, to make it a bit easier, but I've wired those into and hopefully you can see this behind here. Hang on. Into, uh, so difficult. It's into the SX and the S1 switch on, on the Shelly 1L. I'll put a wiring diagram up here so that you can see exactly what's happened. And then I've taken the original switched live and permanent live for the actual lights. And I've wired that into the L and the zero on the Shelly. Again, I'll, I'll put a wiring diagram up. So that's it all wired in correctly. I've also rearranged how the wires will work. So hopefully this switch will fit back on. It's gonna be tight actually, so I'm gonna to have to play with that a bit. But before I do any of that, I'm gonna turn the power back on and just make sure everything works. I'm also a little bit worried because this is a metal container and the garage is a fairly long way away from, from the house or at least from the, from the wireless nodes in the house. I'm a bit worried that I might not get decent Wi-Fi reception inside this metal enclosure. But, um, but let's turn it all on and, and see what happens and go from there. Okay, so the setup process is very similar to any other Shelly device. Uh, simply pick the device, you know, open the Shelly app, add the device, pick the device you wanted to, to add, and then, uh, and then it adds it to your Wi-Fi. Um, I found the first time failed. Uh, I'm guessing because of the metal enclosure that the Shelly 1L is within in the garage. Uh, but I tried it again, and the second time worked, and it was it was all fine after that. Uh, once you have added it into the app, you then add it to a room, and you can control it in, in the same way as any other Shelly device. Um, I'll include some links above, uh, or in the description below, sorry, of, for my video for the Shelly 1PM and the Shelly RGBW2, if you'd like more detail on, uh, on how those devices are added into the Shelly, Shelly app. Okay, hopefully you can see me, the light switch, and the actual light. Uh, so it's all set up, it's all working well. I'm really surprised considering that the Wi-Fi is a fairly long way from, from the garage and it's enclosed within a uh, metal box. But yeah, it seems to be working well. I'll share my screen so you can see what, what I can see, but I've added it into HomeKit via HomeBridge in the same ways as I, I've done for all of the other Shelly devices. I'll include some links to my other Shelly videos if you're interested. Um, and you can see that the, the, the Shelly 1L appears here as the garage lights. And if I click on, on the link, you know, click on the, the option in, inside HomeKit, it turns the light on and off. The off is immediate, but the on takes a second. 
but it does work. Uh, and the light switch itself, we we'll turn that off. The lights turn off, it reflects within the app. Turn it back on, flex in the app, comes on over, comes on here as well. Plus there's another switch over here, you won't be able to see me. But that also does the same thing. So yeah, overall very happy with this. Extremely simple to set up, just four cables. Makes it much easier to fit in a box like this. And uh, seems to work very well. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, more videos on HomeKit and on uh, smart devices and on solar energy and Teslas coming very, very soon. Thank you very much.